tunabaki hapa tunangojea Mungu hata Yesu Yesu mwenye ile mafuta ilitumiwa na ule mama ya kumpaka ile mafuta alisema ilikuwa very expensive ilikuwa imetengenezwa kwa bangi Mlisikia Yesu akisema hii ni paya. Uongo uongo. watu wangu, I hope mkopoa. Mimi niko. Guda guda. Na leo the dos Tunaanza na Najua wengine wetu wanashangaa Wajakoya ni nani? Wajakoya yule jamaa aliamua kuendeleza rege after rege ya baba alisimamishwa. Lakini bangi ni kitu ya maana maana yake tukiwa nayo watu hawatakuwa na jaa. Kenya tuko na 44 million people. Ikiwa gunia moja ni 3.4 million, 3.2 million US dollars. Tukiuza magunia elfu moja ya bangi. Si kila mkenya atakuwa na milioni kwa mfuko. Hata kwenda kukopa tena. Takuwa na bangi mingi tunauza. Kila mtu wako na shamba yake. Unaweza hata kupanda bangi hapa kwa nyumba. Unaweza hata kupanda maua. Hii maua yenye napandwa city council hii yote sijui ni ya urembo. Hiyo yote itakuwa ni bangi. I think baba alikuwa right mwenye alisema no one can stop reggae. Because reggae bado inaendelea. Wajakoya sai imekuwa kama movement. Hadi opinion poll za gizurai saizi zinaonyesha wajakoya na lead. <tos> na kwa nini wajakoya amekuwa famous hivyo? Wajakoya amekuwa famous ya zile manifesto zake. Sera ya kwanza mimi nimeshindwa we are borrowing 2 billion every day so tuonyeshe kwanza ile imeandikwa is it 100 billion or 2 billion yeah. zingine zinaenda wapi za kimsa yeah. but with me i'm telling you kuna kale ka kitu tukipanda hako ka kitu mm-hmm. 20 am nilidungiwa na glen akaniambia mali imefika wake up wake up na stretch tutakapeleka nje maana yake gunia moja eko ka kitu is 2.2 3.2 million us dollars si hata yeye itakulwa tu ah mm-hmm. hawezi kulwa kwa serikali yangu yeah. so tutanyonga wewe <laughs> We are also introducing snake farming in this country. Snake farming. Yes, yeah, so that we can actually extract uh, poison, snake poison for purposes of medication. Okay. A lot of people are bitten by snakes in this country and you have to wait for snake doses from uh, outside the country through pharmaceutical corporations. We have so many snakes in this country and there are so many snake eaters like the Chinese. Uh, one of the ways that you are going to upset of their dead is by taking these snakes, putting them, extracting the the poison and then manufacturing into um, uh, snake medicine and then giving the Chinese the rest to eat so that you can tell them to upset of the dead. When was that? That's one of that. Okay. That was the third. The third one actually. Na watu already washaanza kwa vesti nyoka. Tukiachana na mambo ya bangi, ah sorry, wajakoya tunaenda kwa hii. We want to come into agreement. With the Kenya Kwisha. What? The Kenya Kwisha. Ah, usi. Eh, eh. Unaharibu we. With the Kenya Kwanza women that every hard writing has been erased. Speaking of kuchanganyikiwa, sio pastor peke yake. Kuna huyu pia. Bwana Cairo speak of the Arambe. You dia. And then kuna Steve Name of the Tanzanian president. Eh, uh, nitwa 
Ungeki swahili sana, ungeki swahili sana hapa. Eh member Shega, eh fresh barida eh. Eh Tanzania president Jinake nani? A few minutes later. Lilo Hassan. Lilo Hassan. Nimepata mali nitapata. Unajua unajua kwa nini? Hii ni maajabu. <laughs> Baba Juzi alitoa manifesto yake na kwa hiyo manifesto yake alisema realization when then they brought mitumba it killed all our sexual industries our people are only wearing clothes coming from outside the country you have been warned by people who are dead we are going to go to primary production so that our people who are importing mitumba can have good product to sell here I'm, I'm saying that we are not moving anybody out of business we will ensure that those who are importing mitumba get the first hand to market goods which are going to be manufactured here in this country na watu wamemuingilia we huyu muti ya kitandawili alisema ati watu ya wilbaro na mkokoteni nitakataka juzi amesema ati watu wa mutumba ati wanafanya biashara na nguo ya maiti mimi nataka nimwambie bwana kitandawili please wewe kama ulizaliwa ukifaa suit sisi wengine tulifaa mtumba lakini sisi ni wakenya Wani sijui kama tunaelewana tunaelewana nataka nimwambie bwana kitendawili wacha kiburi na madharau my friend wacha kutukana wa Kenya alafu nikimalizia tunapatana na classmate wa Ruto wa Raima anampia mshenea vile Ruto alikuwa aye akukua hata na cheo yoyote ule Ruto tu alikuwa anakaanga tu ndee kama bakuli hapo sa lakini wacha siku moja tulipata wale mwingine wenye walikuwa sharp wakatuchapa nani wakatuwekelea tukaimba wimbo akawekelewa mpaka akawekelewa sasa hizi zile matawi ya kuku kwenye kichwa yake akaimba akatingiza kichwa vile alipelekwa wa sasa walimu wa waku kwa wanataka machezo wanachangamuka mbaya mbovu huyu mwalimu anaenda huyu mwingine anaingia huyu mwingine anaenda tukachapwa mpaka William Ruto aku kwa anaongea akaongea kutokea siku hiyo sasa mi, mi najua ya kwamba yeye yako active kwa sababu ya mafiko foko wenye aliwekelewa sana mpaka akakuwa active lakini bura aku kwa active ile vipoko yenye tulichapwa sasa hata kama macho yake ilikuwa hiku kwa inaangalianga vizuri ili, sasa ilianza kuangalia vizuri na akakuwa sasa na akili mingi na akachua kila kitu sasa yenye iko mbele afadhali usome kwanza vitu yenye iko mbele kuliko vitu yenye iko nyuma <laughs> 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 uh, mambo ndio hiyo